Good evening, Footage Live Television. Today we are privileged to be in the blessed company of one of the most successful businessmen in person of Mr. Bremam Fude, a former candidate of this show, number eight, Montreal County. Number seven. Number seven. A pleasant good evening, Fude, and welcome to this interview. Good evening and welcome to this interview. Thank you very much for welcoming me to your mark. Yeah. Um, when my kid Fode mm -hmm. is businessman in part of my bureau, mm -hmm. former aspiring district number seven. Mm -hmm. Someone watching the interview would like to know who is Mr. Fode, where you started your education, where you grew up, what you were watching, man, how you got you to get to the level. Oh, let me just come in. Mm -hmm. My education started from Nipo Junior High at NAA in Gitaru Kipsing, 1998. I came from Gitaru Kipsing, and 2011, I found myself in Zion College. I did criminal justice. 2016, I walked out of the house of Zion. Okay, so can you can you can you re can you recall vividly the moment where you felt like and this is too much for me, you know, I can't make it, but I just have to continue. It. Meaning like a time in your pool when you were in high school, where maybe you never had a phone in or when you're in university. Can you remember a time? What well, I Really, when I was in high school, mm. I had some difficult moments. Mm. But as God could help, uh, with the help of my late father, mm. I was able to cry successfully. And I think I put that at the back of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to your professional life. What you started, what really drove you into business? What really drove me into business is because. When I came from high school, mm. I found I found no other job but going to the Labour National Police to go and work. Mm. And all of a sudden, everything we did in the Labour Media Association was big, big people asking business people for help. Oh, they were one of these or one of these. I found reason. To go back into business because I started business before even going to Labour National Police. Mm. So after I resigned, I came back to my business and decided to improve my life. Okay, so when when you started it, when you started this business, I started business at the four. I was still in high school. Mm -hmm. I graduated in ninety-eight, the class of ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Mm -hmm. So when you started, what was some of your challenging movement? First of all, for every businessman, the first thing you think about is cash. Mm -hmm. And for you to get funny at that time to start business, it was hard. Mm -hmm. So you have to bring up someone to get yourself where you are today. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can make that dream to be successful, you have to be credit worthy mm -hmm. and you have to be trustworthy. Was it, was it a dream coming out as a real child to become a businessman? First of all, I told you I studied God. Man. Mm -hmm. I know I did this thing in the university. Mm -hmm. I got my first degree in criminal justice. Mm -hmm. I got my manner in public, in, in what, public relations. So it's like, my whole attention was, I really wanted to be a government official. Mm -hmm. Because I feel they were more of making more money, and I needed money to pay back to my family because I came from a very, Comfortable background, which is Westwood. To even get my meal a day, it was a very tough thing for me. Okay, now look at your profession. Let's get back to your professional life. Being a businessman, a young man, most often they, they say in Labrand that Labrand youth have now credit worth it. So, how did you manage in growing to this level? First of all, let me just tell God thank you for my level. And let me also give a call thank you for the Labour Business Association I was a member of. Mm -hmm. Through the region of Sam Mitchell, mm -hmm. he actually taught a lot of things. And he pressed 
and he absent leaving the Liberal Bring Association today, I can tell you, it's a big blow. Mm -hmm. Big blow in a sense that Saint Michel, with all his harshness, he was always there for everybody from different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. Saint Michel played a lot of encouraging role into my life. Mm -hmm. He always encouraged me. Brahma, you can make it. Brahma, you can make it. And my first move I ever took, it was from the Liberal Bring Association. Mm -hmm. Which was seven thousand United States dollar, and I do to pay that money like in the period of one year, and I paid that money in the period of seven months. Mm -hmm. And from there, another group came by the, by the name of Liffy. Mm -hmm. But that time, Saint Michel was no longer the person of the Liberal Association, and the fee have gone sky high. That like before you be a member of the Liberal Association. You will pay two hundred and fifty dollars US, and we send Michel administration will pay like shop owner will pay like fifty dollar, Uber mm. will pay like ten dollar. This on your strength because we wanted for everybody to be member of the Liberal Association. So based on your strength, we charge you, and we have that unity where we used to go for ball, we used to go for dinner, we used to interact with a lot of government official NGO. And Chuda, after Saint Michel left the scene, uh, I met a group they called Bailey Market, who actually put a lot of training in me and opened me to a whole lot of donors. And I want to get some contract. And today I can tell you, I stay on my own. But after taking a loan for the Liberal Association, paying that money 100%.